Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. It is morning for us and I am just going to be bringing you guys along for a like morning in our life and kind of showing you more specifically what I do with my toddler to help him learn. Um, he is three if you guys are new and then I also do have a one year old but I don't do a ton with him. I just kind of let him play and I'm going to bring you guys along so you can kind of see what we do. Is in the bathroom. I don't care at all, baby. You got my After we finish our breakfast, I'll take the boys out to the living room and we are just gonna cuddle and play. I let them dance. I put on a little bit of music for us, which I'll kind of show you guys off to the side our playlist, but we're really just hanging out and trying to wake up. So the mornings for us are definitely when my son is the most eager and excited to learn. And you guys, I want to keep learning for him fun. I don't want it to be a chore or something that he dreads doing. I want him to play and not even know that he's learning as much as he is. So we're starting off with some water coloring today. I love these little like kits that you can get the mess free like watercolors or some from Liss and Doug. This one came from the dollar spot at Target. And also we have a really cool dinosaur one that we got at the Dollar Tree. So you can pick these up anywhere and it's a good way to get their creative juices flowing. The next thing that we're doing this morning after a little break is we are getting the Play-Doh out. And you guys, I am a huge advocate for Play-Doh. It is awesome for preschool age kids. You guys, it encourages them to be creative and use their imagination, but also it's great for their hand-eye coordination. It's good for dexterity in their fingers. There's just so many good benefits of playing with Play-Doh. So as you can see, he has some tools from his toolkit. He has a monster truck. And and then all the little shapes you see that we use to cut things out, he got those from the Dollar Tree. So really inexpensive as well. And I would just really encourage you guys, let them do their thing here. I back off as much as I can unless he needs my help. And I just let him kind of imagine and play and have a good time with it. Once Noah is all done playing Play-Doh, I went ahead and I got him dressed for the day. And then as you can see, Luke is still in his pajamas, but they are just gonna play together, have a good time being brothers and just, you know, wrestling around, playing with their toys and getting some energy out. Even if I told you, I could never let you go. I am not so sure you so the next thing we're going to do is an actual learning book. This one is specifically geared towards preschoolers ages three to five. And I would say of all the activities that we do, this is probably his least favorite. He doesn't love it as much as the interactive type things that we do, but he still does get a kick out of it and he'll do it for a little bit. And I just do it for as long as he will allow. When he's over it, then we move on. We go to something else because again, I want this to be an enjoyable experience for him, something that he wants to do and not something that he dreads so if he really hates the learning books then there are other ways that I can teach him the same concepts without having him do this specific thing but I would still recommend them because most likely when they go to school if you do plan to truly send your child to school they're probably gonna have to do something like this so it's good for them to at least get into that habit at least in my opinion I will link this one down below if I can find it for you guys <laughs> do you remember the easiest way for us to count we're gonna touch it Go one, two. One, two. Yes, and then we're gonna write a two in this box. Do you want mommy to help you or do you wanna write it by yourself? 
No, I do. No, I do it. Okay, mommy's gonna show you what it what it looks like, just as a reminder, and then you're gonna do it by yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mommy drew a two. See the no, two? Draw the two right here. Draw this two right no, here. No, draw a truck. Okay. How many trucks are there? That's one, two, three. Three? You gotta touch them. Remember how many trucks? One, two, three. There's three trucks? Mm hmm Are you pointing to the tires? Mm hmm There's three tires? Mm -hmm. But there's one truck. Just one. What about the pairs? Want to touch them? Let's count them together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah. Ready? One. What's this one? It's two. What's this one? It's three. What's this one? It's two. This one's two again? So about this time, I could definitely tell that he was over the book. He started getting frustrated, wasn't really wanting to do what it was asking. So I don't push him too hard, you guys. If he's done with it, then I will just allow him to move on. And that's exactly what we did. So Noah was totally still in the mood to learn. So I got out our little kit that we have put together for preschool and it just has some flashcards and different like props, I guess, that we could use. And I let him kind of pick what he wanted to do. So we are gonna do these felt letters and then we also have a school bus and then we also have these flashcards with closed pens. And this is all geared towards learning numbers. For my son and every child does learn differently, but him in particular, he learns by being able to physically touch something and like have it have an action. So for instance, he's picking up the felt numbers and he can pick out the color and to see how they feel. And then also with the clothes pins, he's able to clip those onto the correct number. And that does something in his brain that really helps him just to get it. Quick. One, two, three. Okay, but what color is this one? It's blue. It's this one. It's green. What about this one? It's red. What's this one? It's yellow. What about that one? Yellow. Red. Red. Awesome. Okay, so you want to get the school bus out? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's I want to put it on the numbers. Yep, we'll put away our numbers. Can you put the lid on your marker over there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Bye -bye. Well done. Okay, so these have numbers too. What's that? It's green. No, why do I know her? Okay. So the school bus, the school bus has windows. Yep, you, and if you open up the windows, it tells you what number it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything that you guys have saw up until this point has led us to nap time. And after nap time, I'm not saying we never do learning stuff, but it's just a lot more rare. I like to get us out of the house, we go do something, whether we just play out back in the yard or we go to the store or we go to the park. I get us out of the house and get us moving, soaking up what nice days we still have left. If you were curious, um, Luke was with us the entire time. Of course, I tried to show him here and there, but I just let him kind of do his own thing and I will play with both of them and kind of go back and forth. But we spend the mornings learning and then in the afternoons we do more of like an outing kind of thing. And that works out really, really well for us. Obviously you have to do what is best for your family. Every child learns differently, but I hope that this was helpful. Gives you some ideas for things that you can do with your kids. Hit up the dollar spot at Target as well as Dollar Tree. You can always find great learning things there. And yeah, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay.